Okay, so let's keep going. Um, what was the most effective way you lost weight when starting your journey? So when I first started uh, in January 2019, I pretty much, uh, I was tracking my calories. So that's something that I do all the time, tracking my calories using my fitness pal. I use my fitness pal to track my calories and that's something that I stay consistent with. I wasn't working out every day. I maybe went and worked out maybe. At first when I started, I was working out two days out the week. And I didn't like try to push myself and I'll go work out for maybe 30 minutes didn't overdo it, didn't try to wear myself out. And like, I took baby steps. I was like walking instead of running, you know, trying to just learn how to do a proper squat, crunches, rushing twists, jumping jacks, the very minimum basics. But the one thing that I went full thought in is eating right. And so when I started eating right, I wasn't like cutting everything out, right? I wasn't like, okay, I'm not gonna eat this, I'm not gonna eat that. I didn't say, okay, I'm gonna go cold turkey. Because I noticed that going cold turkey allows you to restrict yourself so much so that when you do eat something that you really want you overdo it like you binge eat you eat too much and you just wear it out and like once you get to used to eating the same thing like chicken vegetables all day every day you get tired of that and once you get tired of that you don't want to do it no more you don't want to eat it no more you just want to go back to your normal routine and i feel like that's why people fall back into their old habits because they go cold turkey and they be too restricted like they restrict themselves to too many things so what i would do is tracking my calories still eating the same thing that i usually ate like panda express I can't tell y'all the last time I ate Panda Express because I don't eat it anymore. But by me tracking my calories, it opened my eyes to see, like, how much food I was actually intaking. Like, how much more carbs instead of protein that I was taking in. Like, just thinking about, like, literally, I was eating maybe 3,000 calories a day if I was tracking everything that I ate. From the little cookies to the chips to the ice cream to the super-sized fry at restaurants. All the extra stuff stuff appetizers drinks soda water you just realize like wow i was really eating terribly and that's why i couldn't get to where i wanted to be and that's why i wanted to change my figure i wanted to become healthier i wanted to walk without being tired i truly wanted to walk without being tired and i go to you and i was i'm i'm currently a student at ut and when i went there for orientation and i walked up that hill y'all I knew that I wasn't gonna make it. Like that campus is big and I stayed closer to the stadium and my class was on the whole opposite side of the campus. So I literally was walking everywhere and I naturally just lost weight doing that. But I didn't wanna always continue to be out of breath. That's just not something I wanted to do. I wanted to be up and running, able to interact with my friends, go places, go walk around and do stuff without being out of breath. That's just not something I wanted to do. So, by me eating right, tracking my calories, and doing minimal exercises, staying consistent, dedicating, being patient with myself. Like some days, some weeks, I didn't lose any weight, but I didn't beat myself up about it. I just kept staying consistent and noticed, okay, let me see, you know, let me look over this week and let me see what did I do wrong so I can make sure I don't make this mistake again next week. And I made small goals. Like I said, okay, this month I started at 2, 280. Okay, I want to at least be 275 by the by the beginning of the next month and i worked hard until i reached those goals and you just keep staying consistent and keep holding yourself accountable when you try something out and you're working out and you feel like you're eating right and you don't see the results that you want self-examine what you have done for that week don't just try to say okay if it, it's not working realize what you have been doing you know try to reach out Google it. Google is so much like Google is so much help throughout my journey. I literally research things 24 7 just to see, you know, what works for me and what don't. And what people have to realize is everybody's weight loss journey is different. What works for me may not work for you, but it won't hurt to try out and see how it works and be consistent with trying out something because you won't know if something works if you're not consistent enough to track how your body is reacting to something that you're doing different. Okay. So, how were you able to take control of what you ate? So, basically, like I just said before, I wasn't restrict restrictive on myself. So, like, it, it was times where I would literally restrict myself. Like, now, I don't really eat bread, and I, I really don't eat fried foods, and I'm trying to 
slowly cut away dairy products because dairy support products as i've been doing my research sticks to your good and i'm trying to i'm trying to be hot girl summer beach body fine next summer so i've been doing a lot of research to see like what foods stick to you and what you know what don't so that'll be a whole another subject but uh pretty much just tracking my calories like once you realize that being on a diet should not be restrictive like i necessarily won't even try to call it a diet it does not have to be restrictive you can't enjoy foods that you love you just have to watch and eat in moderation like make sacrifices like some days i wake up and be like okay i really want some ice cream and what do i do i eat that ice cream i don't say oh okay let me wait till the weekend because i have done that before being like okay i'm not gonna eat this until the weekend and then when the weekend came I overdid it, ate too much because I was like telling myself, you can't have this, you can't have that. But instead of telling yourself, oh, you can't have it, tell yourself, okay, maybe you can have a little bit of this and, you know, treat it as a reward. And so like now I kind of like treat myself with a snack every day. Maybe it's something sweet or maybe it's something that I really want just to keep me going. Like a little reward every day. Sometimes it's ice cream, sometimes it's brownie, sometimes it's Kit Kats, like stuff that I love. I eat that also, but once again, you can't overdo it. Like, that's the thing. You have to learn how to make sacrifices, eat in moderation. Don't go, like, don't be like me crazy with tracking your calories. I love tracking my calories because I just like to be aware of what I'm eating, and I don't think I could ever stop tracking, but it's a way to, you know, kind of be mindful of what you intake and without being crazy with tracking. And so, and another thing is, Whenever I feel like I'm just eating because I always sit and ask myself, are you hungry? Like, are you really hungry? Or is you eating? are you eating because you're bored? Are you eating because you feel like you need to eat? Or are you eating because you feel lightheaded? And if, if like, if you eating because you're bored or you eating because you just feel like you need to eat, at that point, I just drink water. I drink a whole bunch of water and I realize that water is very filling. And when a person like me, I really feel like my metabolism is getting very high because anytime I eat, I don't get full. Like I can eat maybe a good meal and will not be full. So the way I do that is I take a, six, a full bottle of water and I chug it before I eat. I chug it before I eat because it kind of like fills my stomach up. So I won't eat as much. Well, I will still eat the whole meal, but I will be more satisfied. And like sometimes after I finish eating, if I still feel hungry, I drink another bottle of water. And you kind of just like, one thing I noticed, if I know it's more to eat, I will easily want to eat more. But if I know, okay, if I tell myself, okay, done, you know, maybe you just, you maybe you just you still feel hungry because you just ate and you like you really just not satisfied you're not like your appetite is not satisfied but your body is satisfied drink you some water and get away from the table because you didn't already had enough like it's no reason to overdo it and that's one thing that i have a problem with because y'all once i start eating and i know it's like a whole bunch of food left to eat especially like when i go out to eat with my boyfriend once i finish my food i want to eat his food too but i have to tell myself like done you don't have to do that every time you know it's more food to eat drink you some water chill relax okay you can eat again another time don't overdo it because you've been working so hard don't ruin that process